Why is your wife so cold to you? Why does it seem like no matter how hard you try, the changes you make, she doesn't seem to notice or even care. It's like someone went into her brain and flipped an emotional switch and now she feels nothing for you. Is she always gonna be like this? Should you just give up? You miss her and all you want is for her to give you another chance. And so many men try and try and try. They make so many changes when she pulls away, but it's oftentimes in vain because they miss the most important component to changing their wife's mind. They didn't build the house properly. Properly. Hear me out. Imagine this house resembles you in the relationship. Your wife wants to live in a strong, attractive, supportive home where she can feel safe and protected. However, it's been falling apart from the years of complacency, the lack of attention. She's had enough. She puts a giant moving sign in the yard that reads divorce. So you can start painting the walls and adding new tile, getting new furniture, and redoing the whole entire roof to convince her to stay. And that is equivalent to you doing chores, being around her more, communicating effectively, and even taking responsibility for your your part in everything. But after remodeling yourself and the relationship, the home still falls apart. And so do you. You end up broken and empty. But why does this happen so many times to men? It's because you fail to focus on the foundation first. Without fixing the foundation, none of your efforts will even matter. A beautiful home on a shaky foundation is still not a home worth being in. If you start with this first step and get it right, then a sense of peace and stability will wash over you two daily. I'm a licensed marriage family therapist and I help men save their marriages fast by reaching the full potential. Now, before I tell you how to stabilize that foundation, first, let's tell you why your wife can only see all of your mistakes and why she chooses to take a sledgehammer to the house when she notices one little wrong thing with it. The first point I want to tell you is that you and your wife are built for war over love. Let's say as an example, you and I were in this jungle thousands of years ago and we were starving for a couple of days. All of a sudden, we see a couple of women, very attractive, and they have all this food with them. Our attention, and our energy is going to lock on to those women with that food. And then all of a sudden, we hear a rumbling in the bush and a giant growl and a tiger pops up. Do you think we're gonna stay focused on those women with that food? Or is our attention gonna go over to the tiger? You see, what's more important for us is to protect ourselves than go towards something of perceived gain. Your wife is the same exact way with you in this house. You see, she can see all the things that are going well, all the things you may be changing, but at the end of the day, if that foundation is shaky, she doesn't feel safe in the home, that's what she's gonna focus on. She's only gonna see what's going wrong because she doesn't feel emotionally safe with you. You can say all the right words in the conversation, and then if you say that one wrong word with the wrong tone, she senses it, that whole conversation is ruined. As an example, I have so many guys write the CLC reports in my program as the first step getting their wife back. And a guy, they can write this whole, I'll review it sometimes and I'll see in this letter, it's just perfect, like taking responsibility, understanding her emotions. And then they throw one sentence at the very end saying something calling her out on something or she should go see therapy herself or something like that. And I'm like, dude, your wife is gonna hyper-focus on that one sentence and the whole thing is gonna be all for naught. So the question remains, why do we do this? Why does your wife or girlfriend, why does she focus on the negative? I already alluded to it a little bit already, but your brain, that powerhouse between your ears, its main goal, and it's your wife's as well, is not to be happy. It's only that you survive. So it constantly scans for threats in its environment, and you are the biggest threat in her life right now, and that needs to change. All right, let's talk about point number two, how to get your wife to change this, to not see you as a threat, to make that solid foundation in the home. And this is called ignorance over evil. Let me tell you a story. I want you to imagine that you're leaving work and you're on your phone and you just left your favorite coffee spot. You got your favorite cup of coffee, this giant scolding hot cup. And as you're walking, you can see in your peripheral this guy approaching you, but you don't think much of it as you're on your phone because he sees you, you know he can see you. Then all of a sudden he bumps into you and all that scolding hot coffee pours all over your shirt and you get freaking burned. And you're a big guy, right? You work out, right? You better be working out. So he falls to the floor and you're pissed. You're ready to fight. You're ready to at least have some choice words with him. And then you notice, you look at him, he's on his stomach and he's going like this with his hands. He's spreading his hands out. And with one hand, he grabs giant black glasses and the other hand, a walking cane. What happens to your heart? It melts immediately, right? Now, why is this story important? Because in this story, the things that your wife has done to you to hurt you, she's the blind man. Everything she's doing right now that's hurting you is not out of evil, it's out of ignorance. She is so focused on herself, she's not. she cannot see how she's affecting you. Now, why is this important to help her establish your foundation in your home? Because in order for her to forgive you and let go of resentment, you must forgive her first. Now, before you click away, so I hear so many guys say, I, I do, I have forgiven her. There's a difference between saying it and truly believing it. If you've ever brought up things she's done in the past, when she brings up something in the present with you, or even think about it, you haven't fully forgiven her. You haven't let go. And this is the first step. You must fully forgive her. And the best way to forgive her is to see the things she's done to hurt you out of ignorance. Is that when she did those things, she was so focused on only meeting her needs that she was not privy to the idea of how they were affecting you. And a lot of men, they don't even open up, honestly, saying how their 
wife's actions make them feel because you're afraid to be vulnerable. For this third point, I want to share a personal story about me. I usually don't on this channel, but I want to show you the power of forgiveness. So, you know, my parents were divorced. One of the biggest reasons why I do what I do here, right? To help you because I don't want your kids to go through the same pain I went through. And also one of the biggest pains I went through in my life that caused me to go into psychology was I was cheated on in my first relationship. Took the girl back, she cheated on me again, left me for the same guy twice. Really painful. It's also a blessing. That's why the point. Anyways, my mom left my dad for her high school boyfriend. And I found out that's actually a really common trope. It's either the boss that your wife works at or high school boyfriend. And um, early on in their marriage, my mom went to the high school reunion and she got really drunk and she ended up like flirting with her ex-boyfriend in front of my dad. And I could just imagine how my dad felt because I've been there. And then when it finally happened, she left my dad and was with her ex-boyfriend. I swore I would never talk to my mom again because she put my dad through the same pain I went through. And then life, God, however you want to call it, has weird ways of working. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, that same day I found out, I had a client call with this guy who was dealing with extreme trauma from being physically abused by his parents growing up. And he would just sit there and cry with me in session. And I would just hold space for him. And um, randomly, he came into that session and said, Josh, I'm going to forgive my parents. I'm going to forgive them for what they've done. And here I was, the master, ready to hold on to a grudge, never talk to my mom again. And he forgave his parents for physically beating him. I immediately called my mom and I told her that she just wants to be happy and I just want her to be happy. And she's just trying to find love. She didn't know I was upset with her, but <laughs> I did forgive her and I told her that. And when I did that, sometimes you could just feel like just heavy or light. Like it just this weight was just thrusted out of my soul. I felt so light and um, my relationship with my mom is so much better. I'm telling you that you must have this complete mindset shift around how you see the things that she's done to hurt you. I know she's not perfect either. I, I get that. But here, I help men take full responsibility and lead in the relationship because if you go first, the law of reciprocity will take place in which if you fully forgive her, truly forgive her, she will forgive you. Time heals all wounds, but you must learn to let go of the things she's done for you and not hold on to that grudge. It's like you're drinking poison expecting her to die. And that is the first step. And then all the other things on top of the house, communication skills, everything else I teach here will help you as well. Build this home that she wants to live back in. Okay. I recommend you watch this video right here to restore trust. Also uses the house metaphor. You know how to work with me personally, link down below and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.